Wow, I like this very much. Yes, let's go to the slide. Whee! This is so much fun! Yes! Oh, do you see that as well? Oh, yes! People are pulling water out of that well. Let's go there. Let's go. Oh, what is this wheel? Oh, that one? On which the rope is moving? Yes! This is called a pulley. It helps to pull out water easily. But how? Let me show you. Let me pull it. Ugh, ugh, this is so difficult. Oh, now try to pull this bucket. Oh, it is easy to pull. You know, you could pull it because of the pulley. This is called a simple machine. What are machines? The instruments which make our work easier are called machines. There are machines like cars, fans, but those are complex machines. But pulley is a simple machine. Three classes of levers. Man has used levers for thousands of years to make his work easier. A lever is a rigid rod capable of rotating about a fixed point called fulcrum. Here is a schematic representation of a lever. Levers are classified into three kinds on the basis of the relative positions of effort, load and fulcrum. To understand the meaning of the effort, load and fulcrum, let us view the example of a boy moving a boulder using a crowbar. The force that he applies on the crowbar is called the effort. The weight in this case, the boulder that is being pushed, is called the load. The point at which the crowbar is pivoted is called the fulcrum. Now let us understand the different types of levers based on the relative positions of the load, fulcrum and the effort. In class 1 lever, the fulcrum is in between the load and the effort. A crowbar, a pair of scissors and a claw hammer are some of the examples of class 1 lever. In class 2 lever, the load is in between the effort and the fulcrum. A bottle opener and a wheelbarrow belong to class 2 levers. In class 3 lever, the effort is in between the fulcrum and the load. The human forearm and tongs used to lift loads belong to class 3 